what up what up what up what's going on everybody welcome to my channel t girl magic tarot yeah yeah here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini my gemini what's going on gemini hi live cross watcher i hope everybody's having a wonderful fantastic amazing marvelous day Sending you all the love, light, and healing energy. Sending loves and hugs to each and every one of you. Thank you for being part of your subscribes and your love and your donations and your book, everything, Gemini. I love you and thank you so very, very much. Now, keep in mind, this is a general message. It will not resonate with everybody or nobody. Take what only fits for you and leave the rest, okay? Choir, come to the front. Come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective, T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective, check us out and see what we're about, ooh, we are Gemini, 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 we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So let's get into it, my babies, and see what's going on in the overall energy. Ooh, shit, some fussing and fighting. Fighting and fussing and fussing and fighting. Conflict, com conflict competition. Okay. Um, what's going on? Or somebody's looking about investing in some type of conflict or competition. Okay, willing to fight. I don't know if in a family, a family's thinking about, I don't know, causing a heavy burden. It is a head, okay, family in secret, could be a cancer energy, okay, they want to win at all cost. So it's a family, I don't know, thinking about investing in some conflict or chaos. What is this spirit? Ooh, damn, they trying to end some shit for you. Are they trying to sacrifice you through some work? Okay, it's like work, it's like work. Yeah, they trying to sacrifice your ass. And cause some kind of conflict and chaos. This family. I keep getting heavy family. They're heavily burdened about something. What What's secret? Oh, what are they heavily burdened about, Spirit? What is this family ha heavily burdened about? What is this heavily? Okay, they burden a, a death magic over you, Gemini. Somebody tried to send some death magic. Some family tried to send some death magic to you. Why was they trying to send death magic to Gemini? Hi, hi, cross watcher. I'm hearing to sacrifice you so they can change. They don't want you moving fucking forward at all. And y'all ask no too damn much. Mm. Hmm. Gemini, you know, you know too much about this family. These families stress the fuck out all in their head and everything because you don't walked away from this family. Yeah. Mm. So a family you don't walked away from. You don't want nothing to do with them. Why did Gemini walk away from this family spirit? Because they do, they're do they doing death magic on you to end you, to stop you from moving forward or whatever the case may be. What else, Spirit? What is this? What is this? High priestess energy. You know too much. She who knows. They want to know how much more do you know. Are you exposing motherfuckers, Gemini? Hi, vibe. Yeah, you speaking some type of truth. And you're bold with it, too. You're revealing all the secrets that they thought were hidden. That's heavily burdened into this family. Okay, so what else, Spirit? You're speaking some type of truth about what? I don't know. Maybe your family's gaslighting. I don't know. They're doing it for money. I guess I asked what they're sacrificing you for. What's going on? It's for money. Oh, Lord have mercy. They're doing it for money and they're under judgment for sending something to you that clearly backfired. Yeah, they're they're feeling some kind of way. There was illusion, it, honey. That was wishful thinking that they can think they can send this magic to you or send somebody in to you. To be flighty or get you to commit spirit. Say that's the truth. So either they did it over money. And they are trying to come back and apologize. Somebody's trying to apologize about this magic. Because they were spying on it to see did it work and it didn't work. Child. And now they mad and angry about it because shit doesn't slow down for them. Mm. 
and now they imprisoned in or trapped in their head or something about this. Yeah, they did it with other people. You have a, a whole family doing magic on you for money. Okay? I'm hearing you were the sacrifice. Black. I don't no, I don't go. You're just the chosen one of the family. How about that? Okay? Um, you're the you're the you're the white sheep. I'm gonna call it the white sheep, and they're the black sheep, okay? The Sometimes, usually, when they call the, the family member the black sheep, is because that family member is the black sheep. They're the total opposite. They're not in the upright position. They're not in a pure, energetic form as far as their intentions and what they manifest, how they operate. You know, the white light, that's God, that's uplifting, that's righteousness, that's discipline, that's healing, that's structure, that's transparency. That is the white sheep. So instead of saying black sheep, we're going to say white sheep, okay? And then whoever's the black sheep of the family, no, Gemini, you're not the black sheep. You're the white sheep, and the other family is the black sheep, okay? And they're trying to sacrifice the righteous, the upright sheep for money, okay? And spirits say, that's the truth. But you didn't walked away though, so you separated ties from this family. Is why this other another reason why this magic ain't working because you're energetically detached, or you're just very aware of the energies that are working around you from this family trying to cause this heavy burden towards you. You don't walked away from them already. You spoke some truth, stood in your truth, walked away from them. They didn't know that you were speaking the truth about whatever is being done in the dark, coming straight to the light. Caroline, come to the light. <laughs> so you come into the light. You came out of the dark, okay? The secrets are being exposed, and that's a heavy burden on this family because I'm thinking they're, they're have, they practice witchcraft. I'm going to just put it that way. They are, You have high priestess in your family that show up or try to appear in the upright like a white sheep, so to speak, okay? Like they're different or better than you in a sense, Mm -hmm. But they're heavily into witchcraft, just to let you know. And Spirit had you walk away from this family, and this family is all in their head, stressed out, anxiety, because this work is not working. They're trying to cause conflict to your forward movement, and you're still getting this Ace of Pentacles, or still receiving this, which is coming from God. God, look, when God get ready to give you something, ain't all the demons in hell can't stop it. Does that make sense? When God has something for you, I don't give a fuck what manipulation energies that they think that they know. They don't know God like that, clearly, because they're messing with God and the unrighteous. But see, God in the upright is the standard of righteousness, so he already done set the rule. This is law. Okay, this is enlightenment. This is knowledge. Only the true God in the upright has the knowledge and enlightenment. This is, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is God in the, uh, 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 you know, and this is him downstairs. There's no, oh, there's no light. There's no, no nothing, no structure, no discipline or sadness, stress. Yeah. So when they came up against God to put some type of death magic on you or cause some type of conflict and chaos in your life to stop your new beginnings and you still getting the Ace of Pentacles moving forward. So for some of y'all, I had been doing the reading that there are either people in your family or your past who you separated from and blocked out. They're trying to get back into your energy in order because, see, you've detached and separated from this energy, okay? Because you're very psychic, if I could say that. Extremely psychic, spirit said. So these people want to come back to you and make some type of offer or apology or reconcile this family situation, Gemini, with you, Okay? So uh, I'm just getting spirit says, keep on walking, baby. Just keep on walking. You ain't got to turn around. You don't have to explain nothing. You don't have to anything of anything. You owe nothing to nobody but God. And God already gave you and ordered your steps to move forward. Does that make sense? Okay. So yeah, they want to come back in. Oh my God. And say, oh, I'm sorry. Let's make it work. Let's do it. So they can try to this magic again so they can go and spy on it to look like, no, keep these people out of your life. Okay. You do, you can do bad with them. Shit, shit. You can do bad by yourself. You don't need other motherfuckers to do bad with, especially ones that's trying to kill you off and causing conflict in your forward movement. And you ain't doing nothing but minding your own damn business. You see, you minding your own business, focus on your work, whatever you do, that's what you do. And it's got these people stressed out about it. Because you mind your own business? That's dumb. And you walked away from them? But they know why you walked away from their ass. Because they know that you know that they know what you know. Okay? Because you possibly speaking it out and calling them out on their secrets that they think that nobody knows. 
What else, Spirit? So tell me more about this family. This family going through a tower and they in the hangman. I'm hearing they losing money. They losing left and right. Honey, they showing up as the nine of wands energy because whatever magic that they send or energy that they're trying to send to you, that shit's been popped back. You're defending yourself. You're using the return to sender Holy Spirit within you, exercising your powers for good. As a citizen, you have rights and this is your right to protect yourself. This family never thought you were going to stand up and protect yourself because you are him or her, darling. Yes, you are. You are the empress. Yeah. These people was in an illusion and confusion to think that they can even stop your forward movement and success. But when God, because God is a force. He's an energy, an energetic force that's fast forward movement. He's quick. Okay. He's like a charge, lightning speed. I'm getting Okay, and that's the rate that you're moving is lightning speed ahead, pretty much. And these people, they in illusion and confusion, honey, because they don't even know what to do. Tell me more about this raggedy family. And the family is raggedy because they're trying to do shit to you to end you. That's why the, the family is raggedy, or these people. What else, spirit? You cut them out of your life. Yeah, you cut these energies out of your life and that's why they're stressed out because they're like, oh my God, our magic ain't working because had you been attached to the family on an energetic level, the magic could have a potential to end, you know, it could have worked. The work could have worked, but it's not. Yeah, because you're moving to calmer waters because you're looking at your family as liars. What did the family do to make Gemini walk away from them? Spirit, what did the family do? To make Gemini walk away from the nervous individual or individuals or what it lied. Lied. They lied to you. They tried to backstab and betray you in some form or fashion with money. A mother figure possibly did. Okay. And you moved to calm the fuck waters. That's what you did. You got in your boat and he was like, say less. What lie? What was the lie, Spirit, about money? Them taking money from you. Or either if you got, I'm getting inheritance payout energy, but they stole from you. They stole an inheritance and or a payout, a large payout from you. But at the end of the day, your ass is still at the Ace of Pentacles, still at the Nine of Pentacles because God has got you. But God though, but God though, okay? This is a faded event. You need to realize, I, I guess you didn't realize how uh, grimy and, and sneaky and deceptive your family was, how, uh, has, how low they would go, okay, to steal from you. Mm. Yeah, it was illuminated to you that your family member stole an inheritance from you for somebody or somebody. It's like this. I feel that you're intuitive and you've been speaking out about something about a family Okay, stealing money or walking away or whatever the case may be. Yeah, this is a faded event, okay? So pretty much for you to take a leap of faith and step into your power, your family was also this lying, deceptive family that you walked away from was a catalyst to you walking into some illumination, part of your transformation, Okay, because you know it's really hard to walk away from family, especially when you love them. You know what I mean? People and places and things that no longer serve you, especially when you... So God had to make a transformation. He had to make that change in your life because your family was causing conflict and blockages to your forward movement. Because see, this is why they sent the magic to you anyway, because you're touching on something that's making them feel some kind of way about their thievery. Spirit said that's the truth. Oh, Lord have mercy. So they took a, they took something from you. So they got this. This is what your family stole. And then they you ended up with this. Okay? So they trying to... So why are they doing this magic against me? Let me put these ones back. So, yeah. So you blocked it. So regardless, like I said, what God got for you, you still getting this wheel of fortune regardless because God already made the judgment call. Okay? Period. This is the attorney, the ethereal court. This is God, 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 all the way. When God says yes, it's a yes, and this people didn't know. I mean, I'm confused. What's kind of... Mm, spirit, what else? This is a family. This is a family situation. Okay, they want forgiveness. They want to come travel towards you. Because they feel if they can get in your energy, they can switch. So they're doing energy um, harvesting from you. 
okay? And you knew that your family was trying to energy harvest from you. That's how they were trying to produce their pentacles. But then you figured it out. The high priestess energy about this family situation trying to block you. You started to protect yourself. Go, go, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's why y'all are listening. Y'all are listening and paying attention to the energies that are surrounding you. Okay, you're recognizing what it is. If it's yours, if it's somebody else's, if what's going on, and you tap straight into source. Okay, and you protect yourself. You use the powers within, the Holy Spirit within you. That is the protector, but that's your gift that God wants you to not look outside of God for within him, but look in yourself because that's where you'll find God is in you, the power within you, the Holy Spirit within you. You have to ex you have to exercise that spirit inside of you. God is all around, don't get me, and he will set certain things up, but he really wants you to bring it and hone it into you. So you are, you've done that, hallelujah, okay? And you defended yourself and returned that shit to sender. I'm proud of you. Okay, and now these family members is right here. Okay? And that's how they know you really walked away from their ass. And that's why they stressed out and want to come back to Karma Waters is because you figured their demonic asses out. They worship this man downstairs. They don't worship God up here. You see him down here and him and God is up here with the light, with the will of fortune, with the tent, like, you know what I mean? And so you have devil-like toxic family members that have been doing magic on you, their hierophant, high priestess energy as well, on you to end your cycles. Okay? So they think that they're God. They have a God complex because they know a little something, something, something about the unknown. They think they can do certain things, but then God, though. God was like, first of all, you don't alter my rules. I alter your fucking rules. That's what God said. You don't alter me and what I got going on. My will will not be turned. Okay, what I put ahead, it will not turn, return to me void. That's what it can't do, and I can't lie, even if I wanted to, because that's not what God is. He stands in righteousness and upright. The, only the devil, the, that's why he created the devil. So that's part of God. He can be a liar and a Decepticon and all those crazy things, because God already got it worked out for this, this one too. So he's going to get his reward okay, and you're going to get your reward too in righteousness. Everybody got a reward. Some of them are going to have a reward of death, okay? And then some of them are going to have a reward of life, okay? Which is you. You get a new life, a new beginning. And God said that's true. So whatever a destiny that they had for you to cause conflict in your forward movement and new beginnings, that was a lie because the devil is a lie. Because when God in the upright, the righteous Yahweh Elohim speaks, it still stands and no man will ever alter God's word or will, period, okay, when they get over that, and that's why they feeling fucking foolish, because this is what they, they raggedy asses didn't know, done caused themselves a heavy burden fucking with God, okay, that's what I'm saying, like, stay in your lane and stay in your places, brothers and sisters, don't, mm -mm, and this is not high vibes, this is not high vibes, God was literally laughing, belly laughing hard at this family or people with their magic, because it, God was like, what are you doing? What, what the fuck are you doing? Like, first of all, I'm the one who created it all. I am the magic at the end of the day. So what are you thinking? That, like, what? Exactly. God belly laughed at their ass so hard. And so now here they at. Yeah. So you have, your family members could, you know, what's good family members going through? So what's Gemini? God just wants you to know that he protects and loves you so much. You got family members that are going to reach out to you. If you got the intuition to walk away from the family member spirit, say keep on walking and don't look back because these motherfuckers literally tried to kill you off at the ultimate. I'm telling you. So if they ask you to go on a trip, a boat trip somewhere, family gathering, and you didn't go, their plans was to unalive you, to be honest with you, because you were going to be the sacrifice to their next come up. They wanted to stay in this position, okay, because they have to make sacrifices to him downstairs. But you can't sacrifice God's babies. Oh, my God. If they even thought that they could sacrifice. Oh, child, that is some delusional ass. They only backstabbed and betrayed them own selves. Mm. Just like, for instance, if somebody messing it with your baby and you know how you will fuck a bitch up and kill their ass for messing with your child. 
And that's not every, I'm just saying, you know, how the anger is there. Like, like, or how dare you? Because God is the protector. He will, he's like the, the papa and the mama bear. So when the, when they started attacking the papa, the papa's bear's children, child, oh my God, that God, was, ugh. that's where the tower and the hangman hit. That's where the foolish, the will done turn. See, God, once you mess with his children like that, after what God has set up for his children, and then you try to come and inter intervene in that, oh my God, your, your world is over. I'm sorry. It's just over. So it would it have been better for you to be hanged by a millstone and thrown into the ocean than to mess with one of God's children and to try to stop their forward movement and closing in cycles for what God has moving forward. Whether you believe in God or not, I don't give a damn what you believe in, nor do I care. But God is who he is, and God will make a believer out of you. I don't even have to hype him up like that. God don't need me to give him acclimates. He can give his own self acclimates, and he can touch you how nobody can touch that ass. And he will use his adversary, because you know the devil is God's adversary. God exercises with the devil to build God's... I mean, God already has the attributes. We know God is love and kind and caring, and the devil is the opposite of all those attributes. So we know who is who and what is what in the operation of the spirit. But anytime you try to come between the upright, righteous Yahweh Elohim and, and, and you using the devil, Lucifer, Satan, and the dragon and his demons against God to try to stop the, the, uh, the eternal will, child, you done, you done caused the death sentence to yourself. Okay, you done caused the death sentence to yourself. Period. When you try to backstab and betray the fucking earth angel. Okay, so I just be, you know what? These, your family just, God says stay away from them though, for real. Especially this matriarch energy figure, whatever the case may be. So what's the outcome, spirit? What is the outcome for this family? What's the outcome for this family? Mm -hmm. Well, you have forward movement, babies. That's all I know. You covered. You're like, Everything, when God, when you God's baby, you ain't got nothing to worry about. All you do is live and be happy. And God got your path and he will take care of everything. Now, your family members, on the other hand, it's a missed opportunity. They should have treated the earth angel with love and respect as they had their love and earth angel. But the magic that they sent to you is going back to them. And I did say they put a death spell out on you to either end your physical life or your finances. Spirit says it's all of it. So what's going to happen to them? That shit popped back. Where it is? This is my backfire. The backfire. See, you were protected. God protected you. He allowed you to have that power and exercise your citizen rights of the kingdom. And now they're going to be having to be laid to rest or sick or pass the fuck away. I'm just saying. So somebody is getting ready to pass away in your family or somebody already done passed away in your family. But there's a lot of death going around in your family right now. Okay. And that's their end result because that's what they tried to dibble and dabble and play with God's babies. And honey, they should have left the papa bear, mama bear's baby alone. Because now they're reaping the consequences of their actions. Because they were warned to leave you alone, but they chose that they thought they knew. They were arrogant. Like, we know what's going on. We've been doing this for years. So they have possibly have been doing this. That's why they thought they could get away with it. And they ignored all the warnings from Holy Spirit because they had been doing this to you, but God allowed them to attack you in order to elevate and bring you up into your powers where you're able to be strong enough and wise enough to ricochet that shit on back by return to sender. Does that make sense? Because at first you wasn't knowing nothing about that. You're nowhere near as close as God. Like you always were close. But like all these experiences over your lifetime and childhood and adulthood had led you to the um, the enlightenment of God. Okay, so you now you have a lot of knowledge in certain things and you can look at things from a different perspective and you can read energy. and You know what energies are surrounding you for you to be able to protect yourself. Because you are, you've been through these battles over and over again and God was like, no more, we're going to give you protection so you can protect yourself. You're always protected because if you weren't protected, you'd be you'd be here, but you're not. OK, so, yeah, you're here. You protected yourself. So spirit was like your family. They're going to end up um, 
in bad health or either passing away or certain circumstances or their money is... Whatever they send to you is what they're going through is what I'm getting, okay? So, yeah, praise God now. Know you're never alone and know God loves you more than you can even imagine, okay, my babies? And I love you too. So, with that, you guys have a wonderful life and we're going to get into the next one and I'm going to see y'all soon. Bye.